Stephen, a new campaign brings fresh possibilities. Is it a campaign that you're especially looking forward to? Yeah, of course. We've uh, been on a good run of games and, and results uh, lately, so it's uh, you know, we've got good momentum going into the start of this campaign and uh, what a game to start away to Germany. So it's a great game we all want to play in and um, hopefully we can get off to a good start. How's the preparation been this week? We've forsaken the chance to play a friendly game for a more intense training period. Has that worked? Has that been a benefit to the squad? Yeah, I think so. It's given us a lot of time. Um, you know, we've done a lot of double sessions on the training pitch, um, manager, um, you know, getting us into positions for attack and defence. And uh, we've done a lot of work this week, and um, hopefully it'll put us in good stead for the match. The fact we're opening against the world champions in Germany uh, has captured everybody's imagination from the players' point of view. Is it important to keep the feet on the ground? And what has the, the kind of discussion been around playing the world champs? Yeah, obviously, um, once. Uh, Germany won the World Cup in the summer. It was a game that I expect everyone was looking forward to um, and to open up away to Germany. Um, I'm sure they'll be parading the, the World Cup and you know the atmosphere I think will be will be electric. So as a football player, you know, it's all games like that that, that you look forward to. How much has the focus been on the threat that we all know Germany can provide and how much has it been on what we can do given that we've got uh, some good form ourselves over the last five, six games? Yeah, I think the managers tried to stress that this week that you know we've We'll go out and do what we've been doing. Um, you know, there's no point in kind of sitting back and thinking, you know, we're not going to be any match for them. I mean, we've shown that in the last few games with the results that that we are, um, and hopefully we can you can go there and give them a little bit of a scare and and try and yeah do our, do our game as well. You've been involved in some Scotland sides that have overcome the odds before against supposedly superior or higher ranked opposition. Um, th does this mean that Scotland effectively go there with with less pressure on them? Um, I'm not sure. I think every game brings its own pressures. Um, you know, it's the start of a new campaign. It's, you want to get off to a good start, a good performance. So, I mean, there's pressures there, but I think we can look at that as a positive. I mean, every football player would like a bit of pressure, a bit of nervous tension, and um, yeah, I think it's still something that we're looking forward to. You've cemented your place at club level as well. Is it important to come to international duty on the back of good form domestically? I think it helps if you're playing. Obviously, you, you've been playing matches. You're you're more match fit, um, puts you in better stead when you come away to to, to obviously be up to speed. Um, and most of our boys um, hopefully are getting plenty of minutes under their belt to put them in, in good positions for the international games. What's the manager done to the mindset of the squad? Um, everybody talks about the, the results, but it's, it's what lies beneath that and the preparation and, and uh, the planning that, that takes place. Can you give people a, an idea of, of what it's been like this week? Um, I think it's just the concentration levels on the task in hand. Um, you know, every you know we come away, we do double sessions every minute, concentrating on the opposition, what we're going to do to hurt the opposition, where the strengths and weaknesses are. So, um, I think the focus is back, and, and we're really kind of trying to all go in the same direction to to get these good performances that we've been given, and the results have been matching it. So, hopefully, that can continue into this campaign. And there's good comp competition for places as well. It, it, can, at this stage of your career, are you looking for this as an opportunity to kind of stake your claim for, for regular involvement? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think all players aim to be playing at their club level well. Um, uh, obviously, being involved internationally, and then it's up to the manager what, how, how he sees it. Um, I come away, if I'm fit, I come away every time, enjoy my experience here, and, and love playing for my country. So, you know, I'm fit for selection, and we'll just see what happens on Sunday. Gordon said the last campaign was probably the most difficult Scotland's ever had against you know, teams of the calibre of Croatia, Serbia and Belgium. When you look at uh, this campaign and you look at, again, tough opposition, but the fact that more teams qualify, should we be um, expecting to, to finish in those top two places? I think it's something we need to be aiming towards. Um, I think the group and the manager all, all believe we've got the, the squad and the quality to, to be up there challenging. So, um, we need to take each game as it comes. Obviously, Germany first, it's going to be tough, but if we can get a good performance and a positive result going into the next uh, few fixtures before the end of the year, hopefully we'll put ourselves in a good, a good position.